In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for iron, Fe, and the Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus ions. So to do that, we'll start out with iron on the periodic table. On the periodic table, iron has an atomic number of 26. That means it has 26 protons. In Fe, iron, on the periodic table, it's neutral. It doesn't have a plus charge after it. So the number of protons are going to equal the number of electrons. So you have 26 electrons to write the electron configuration for iron. We'll use this periodic table here broken up into these orbital blocks to help us write the configuration. You can also use this chart here. There's a link in the description on how to do that. I think this is a better way to do it though. So let's get started. Iron, 1s2. That's where we start. We have 1s1, 1s2 because s orbitals can hold up to 2. Then we go to 2s. We have 2s1, 2s2. We've used 4 electrons. We have 26. Then we go to the p's. P orbitals can hold up to 6. So we'll go 2p. We'll put 6 in there. 3s2. 3p6. And we come back around to 4s2. And this all adds up to 20 electrons. So we have 20 electrons right now. We need 26. We get to the 3d. D's can hold up to 10 electrons, but we don't need 10. We only need 6. We have 20 here. So if we put 6, that'll give us 26. And this is the electron configuration for Fe, iron. Often you'll see the 4s after the 3d. As we get further into the periodic table, that makes sense because this 4s, these electrons are going to be lost to form ions first. So we put them last. Either way, these are the correct orbitals. It's just the order we're talking about. Let's write the condensed notation for iron, and then we use that, we'll remove some electrons to form the ions here. So in our configuration, we have 3d6, 4s2. So we go 4s1, 4s2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where iron's at on the periodic table. To write the condensed notation, we go back to the noble gas that's before iron, and that is argon. So we have our argon here, and we're going to write ar and then we're going to put brackets around it. So we have everything here up to AR. Then after the AR, we have 4s2 and then 3d6. We said we were going to put the 4s2 after the 3d6. Do that. And then we'll use this to write the electron configurations for Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. So here's our full notation for iron. And then this is the condensed notation just for Fe iron. So we'll take this notation here, and because it's a 2 plus, that means it's lost to electrons. Electrons are negative. When you lose electrons, you become more positive. So iron loses two electrons, and we'll get rid of this 4s2 here, and that's the electron configuration for Fe2 plus. For Fe3 plus, we need to get rid of three electrons. So we'll get rid of these two right here. We'll change the 6 to a 5. And this is the electron configuration for Fe3+. So there you have it, the electron configuration for iron, and then the electron configuration for Fe2+, and Fe3+. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.